Hey guys, um, I've just been working on a small uh, engine for a farming game that I'm creating. Um, uh, I started this about four hours ago, and this is where I'm at, so I just wanted to record a video and show you guys what's up. Right, so, select a grass tile, fill the ground layer with grass. Uh, pretty simple stuff there. Uh, five layer engine, uh, so we'll just put some bricks down, yeah, um, put some dirt. Once we've got all this sorted, we'll uh, go ahead and add some events. Radio. Um, so, event layer. Um, the player's starting position is obviously wherever the player is starting, so we can just drag that around. We can block these bricks so that the player cannot walk through them. Uh, we turn all of this into farmable land. Um, obviously, since this is a farming game, uh, setting this to farmable land adjusts some parameters in the tile array which lets the player farm when I come to creating the actual engine. Um, the plant database. So this is the plant database system. Um, basically the game engine will use these parameters type, stages and height to create a, a dynamic world where the plants can grow and die and um, spawn new plants on tiles. Uh, left, right, left and right, up and down to where the actual plant is. Um, also another good thing about this is the plant database is separate to the actual game so saving the plants to the file um, will allow you to update the plant system without physically having to change the code inside of the game. Uh, so we can drop some plants down here on the ground and they appear as these little green squares. In the actual game engine the plant would be rendered of course and uh, processed but this it's not the game so we're not going to worry about that. Um, the last event we have is the scripted tiles using the script engine we'll just put blah 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 put all that in there and they appear as E on the map to edit, this, to edit them, all you have to do is click on them again, as I've done like 30 times just then, and you'll get the information back. You can edit, replace them, do whatever with them. Saving the map, we'll just call this Test Map B. Save that. Alright, map saved. So, just to demonstrate that that worked, we'll go ahead and put some stuff in here. Over here, I know what I'll do. We'll just do that. And then we can go back. Um, load the map, test map B, OK, give it a second, map loaded. So yeah, um, this is a, just a simple tile engine I've been working on for the last four hours, wanted to get some feedback on it, so I thought I'd make a video for you guys. Tell me what you think, rate, comment and subscribe. Cheers.